Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of Object Texture Reviews. So yeah, you guys seem to actually really like this um, series concept from last video um, about a week ago now. So yeah, I thought I'd um, continue it and uh, finish it off. So um, yeah, um, you got, got some really positive feedback on the um, other one as well. Someone's still saying about Subscribers Universe Season 2. I'm sorry, but I've said this multiple times, I'll say it again. Scrap that series long ago. It's, not, it's really not needed anymore with the amount of um, custom objects and systems that people sending it's not needed for me to build people objects when a lot of people have the game and stuff and people send in systems it's not it's not really needed and I, I didn't really enjoy doing it and obviously I want to do stuff that I enjoy doing so yeah I scrapped that series long ago if anyone was still wondering that so yeah there is that but yeah today we're doing the uh, texture review for Jupiter as you've already seen by the title so yeah we'll get straight into it so yeah all of Jupiter and its moons probably won't be the longest video ever but yeah I'm quite busy at the moment so I don't have the most time but yeah I've got some plans coming up for um, future videos so yeah stay tuned for those so so yeah, anyways, we'll go ahead and start with um, Jupiter itself here. So yeah, here, here's obviously Jupiter. And overall, its textures, it's been okay, obviously. It's, it's been in the game ever since I started back in 2015. It's never been changed or anything. There are some improvements I could definitely um, give to this. I mean, I definitely think it needs more bands. And I do think the red spot, the red spot especially, definitely needs more detail to it, I'd say. Because when you um, see it from, um, or close up usually, so if we get really close, it, do, it looks a little... Uh, out of focus in a way and it's, it's a little um a little off i have to say and also the clouds of jupiter the colors are a little they're a little pale for me i think they should be a little more vibrant in color and we have actually had some custom versions of jupiter built but we've never actually had a completed version and that's still a challenge to any modder out there who wants to take the challenge of making a modded jupiter because we've got this one here as a modded jupiter but it was never finished so yeah here's this old one that casper made he's gone now i don't know where he went off to but um yeah this tube that he made, it never got finished. And it, yeah, as you can see, the colours on it were a lot more vibrant. But yeah, I guess we still have to roll with the main tube to, until we get a new custom variant of that. Because yeah, that, that's my challenge to all modders out there. If you think you can take that challenge on, that'd be really, really cool to see a custom tube to, Because it, apparently it's quite difficult to get all the bands exactly right. <laughs> and as I've heard, um, some people making satins and stuff as well. They're very difficult to do, so... Yeah, if anyone wants to take up the challenge, it's out there though. So um, yeah, there's tube to, So overall, I'd give it its texture probably about... I'd probably give it a 6 or a 7 out of 10, I have to say. I mean, the bands do look good, but it just needs a little more of them, I think. And the red spot is a bit of a letdown for it as well. But overall, yeah, it's pretty good. But now, moving on to the moons, we've got the first one of Ganymede here. Now, this is... I remember when this came out. I, this was a really, really good one for me. So, we'll just um, go out of the chart mode now. So, yeah, here's Ganymede. And, yeah, I remember this coming out. And I really, really liked the way this looked when it um, came out. I have to say, I, I do think at the detail looks really really good from a distance as well it does obviously it gets a little more blurry when you get close up but yeah i i think overall this is a pretty strong one i'd definitely give this definitely a eight a strong eight out of ten i have to say i really do like um the texture and this is one i always hoped they would give a texture for as well because when i started the game it was only io and europa that had a texture and there was no ganymede or callisto but yeah when they added the ganymede one i was like oh this looks so good and yeah to this day it's definitely um one of the best looking moons for, in my opinion i have to say as well yeah and also if you guys think differently let me know what you think down below in the comments as well because yeah if you disagree with me let me know let me know um your thoughts on these as well but yeah for me ganymede is definitely one of the stronger looking moons out of them all i have to say i've, I've always liked the way um the texture in the game has looked for it so yeah there is ganymede but now moving on to um, we'll go to callisto next we'll do them in size order so yeah callisto is over here now this is this is definitely the weakest link for the moons, if you ask me, because Callisto, if you look at a real image of Callisto, for instance, it's a lot more of a dark brownish colour, but this one is not anything near those colours, and, and the thing as well, Callisto is meant to have, a, like, a ton of craters on it, a very, very cratered surface, but here, there isn't really many visible, you don't really see many craters, I mean, there's a few in the south there, but, yeah, this should be a whole lot more cratered, almost like Mercury, in a way, some people have compared it to Mercury, I've seen. But, yeah, this needs more craters, and it's the colours are off as well. So, this is definitely the weakest link out of the Jupiter. Now, we do actually have a, um, a custom Callisto made by Mad Planet Guy here. Uh, here it is here, and this one is really, really good. Here it is. So, he's got the colours right, and you can see, although there isn't as many craters, you can see... You can see there is, like, because obviously this is like a custom texture, I believe, and stuff like that. He mixed around a few things in the files. You can see there is craters, not as detailed... But they are there, and just the colour overall, from a distance, it just looks so much more like a Callisto. Like, if you just had a... If you um, just looked at these and you didn't know what they were, I'm pretty sure everyone would say this is Callisto, and then this is something else, because 
that doesn't look like Callisto. This one here, this is what should be Callisto should look like. A lot more dark brownish black colour. It definitely should look like that compared to this thing, which is completely way off. It does not match the Callisto or Callisto at all. It's not a very good representation. If you ask me, yeah, my improvements definitely would be get the colour right as the main thing. Because, yeah, it doesn't look right at all, I have to say. But, yeah, there is Callisto. And I'll definitely give this, out of 10, probably a 1 or a 2. It's not it's not very good at all. I'm pretty sure we uh, a lot of us can agree on this as well. If you think differently, let us know in the comments as well. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of us would disagree at this texture. It's not the best for Callisto. But anyways, that is Callisto out of the way. So moving to Io now. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. So here's Io. Now this is one of this is a good one. So here's Io. Straight away you can see the colour is pretty much spot on. It does look really, really good. It would be nice if it had glowing volcanoes, but that mechanic's not in the game for anything other than city lights to have something glowing. So yeah, there is Io. And yeah, this one's texture. Been in the game ever since I started playing this game years back now. And yeah, to this day, definitely definitely one of the stronger moons as well for um detail i mean that red area there that's always looked really really cool and even when you get closer to it still does look pretty detailed not space engine detailed but yeah overall still i'd say io is definitely a seven or eight out of ten as well not as strong as ganymede but i would say that ganymede does look a little better in my opinion but yeah from a distance this one the detail on this i think looks really really good so yeah there is io i'd definitely give that yeah like i said seven or eight I mean, I've always liked the way Io looks. It's a very unique moon. It's literally the only yellow object in the solar system, mainly like very strong yellow in colour there. Right, so that's Io out of the way. And now moving on to the last moon, which is Europa. So we'll go to Europa here. Here's Europa. So there's always been something funny about this one, and that is the, the way you actually see the actual texture. You have to remove all the water. There's the texture underneath. But when you add water, it just makes the texture all frozen water. But yeah, to get what you want, you actually have to um, remove all the water to see the real Io or Europa underneath. And... Yeah, this one, I've always um, liked this one as well, I have to say, from certain angles. Because you can see this area here, that is, it's not as mapped out. You can see it's not completely mapped out in this area. And that's that's the weakness for this one. But other than that, Europa, I've always liked the, cr the cracks on Europa are always pretty cool as well. Yeah, a lot of Europa's not completely mapped out as well. So you can't really um, um, hit it too hard for that. Because obviously not all of that's like mapped properly on here. But on the bit that is all looking good i mean look how good the cracks on that look that is definitely a really really cool looking detail i mean look at all the cracks like they've really really um done well with this texture i have to say i mean look at all that and yeah i'd definitely give this one probably a seven or eight like io a seven or eight because um the cracks just look so good on it i have to say and yeah um, let me know what you think down below in the comments as well guys because yeah those cracks they just look so good is it just me i mean yeah, other than other than the um, areas which are not as detailed, um, yeah, like this area here, you can see um, here, this area is slightly less detailed than the rest, and obviously the area around this side as well. Yeah, like this area here, that's not as detailed as well. But other than that, I think uh, Europa is a very, very good-looking um, textured object in the game as well. And, and it definitely beats what Callisto has to offer as well. Callisto is by far the weakest um, link in here out of all the um, textured objects. Because obviously the four Galilean moons and then Jupiter. Or none of the other moons are of any significance since they're all just little asteroids. So yeah, Jupiter still only really has its main four moons. All unique in their own way. All different coloured as well. But yeah, Callisto is just 100% the weakest link for me, I'd say. I mean, let me know your guys' rankings as well down below in the comments. Which one you think is the best and worst. But yeah, for me, Callisto is the weakest. And then Ganymede is the best for me. I'd say with with Io and Europa in a close second, a joint second, I'd say because yeah, picking between these two be quite close. But I think if I had to, I'd probably have to go with you, um, Io because all of it's mapped out. But this one does have some blurry areas, but still the cracks just look so good on it. So yeah, really nice job um, with the cracks on that. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much everything, guys. And also actually as well, Jupiter as well. Jupiter's all right. It's definitely not the worst looking gas giant in the game because we all know that trophy is owned by the regular Uranus. Because yeah. That doesn't this this thing doesn't look right at all. The colours, they're just not correct. But yeah, we won't go on to Uranus, so yeah, back to um Jupiter. Yeah. Let me know what your guys are ranking 
um, for Jupiter is because um, interesting. Um, I reckon there could be some different answers between Ganymede, Io, and Europa because they all are pretty cool. But yeah, Callisto. I'm expecting a lot of people to say Callisto is the worst one. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. And yeah, that just about does it for today's video, guys. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. Really, let me know what you think. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this one, guys. And also, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on this video as well, guys. Uh, so the likes have been down a bit recently. Let's see if we can try and get those up a bit. So make sure you yeah, leave a like on this video as well because it really helps out the channel. And also. So Subscribe if you're new, helps on a journey to 8,000 subscribers because we're literally about halfway to 8,000 now, which is absolutely crazy. So, just a massive, massive thank you for everyone who's recently subscribed as well. And also, make sure to join my Discord server in the um, description for um, info on upcoming videos, just to chat with me sometimes. And yeah, just let me know any suggestions you have. And also, if you want to send in custom systems or objects, that is the place to do it as well um, for me to feature them in videos. So, um, yeah, with that all out of the way, though, guys, make sure you all have a great day. Let me know your rankings for the Jupiter system down below in the comments. And, yeah, that is it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.